Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hut, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, the Hut. And of course, this is the Baseball Hut, and of course, please like this video and subscribe, and uh, let me know what you think about it. Now, we have a bit of a report that came out a little while ago about former Met Michael Conforto. I know, another Michael Conforto video, but I've been on this for a while, so it's been driving me crazy about where he's going to go, and hopefully you want to know where he's going to go too, but... Uh, there's another report out today. Well, first of all, there was no reports out really where he's going to sign. It seems like he doesn't have a team. Uh, the Mets gave him a qualifying offer. He rejected it. Uh, right now, the Mets could still get a draft pick. However, July 17th is the day of the draft, of the Major League Baseball amateur draft. Uh, that's three months from now. Um, I don't see any team signing him prior to that because he's not going to give him a draft pick. When all these scouts are scouting um, all these kids in college and in high schools. That, that's not going to happen. So he's not going to get a deal until after that. Uh, but there is a report today uh, from the New York Post. Um, and you can find it on different blogs. I found it on this Cubs blog because the Cubs are just struggling for offense. Um, Mike Conforto's uh, supposed injury is so bad. <clears throat> his shoulder injury. Uh, is so bad uh, that he might not play this season. I don't know what happened to him during the off season. Uh, the agent Scott Boris said that it was from some kind of dive in an outfield drill. That doesn't sound like it, but I would mention this and just sort of remind you all that Michael Conforto has a bad shoulder from when he played football in high school and in college. I guess high school, I think high school. And he separated his shoulder. Remember in 2017, he separated his shoulder on a swing after the All-Star break. And he, he separated his shoulder. I don't know if it's something similar to that. But obviously it was a shoulder injury. I don't know if it's the same shoulder. It's, this whole story is very, very murky. It's very suspicious. So if he's dealing with some major injury, uh, he might not have a team. And from what they're saying, what this report says, he's not been doing any kind of throwing at all. So they, they considered surgery. I don't know what happened, but it, I don't think he's going to sign this year. I don't know what kind of injury he has. That sounds pretty bad if he's going to miss the whole entire season. And it seems like it might be something. I wonder if he was like in some kind of like accident or something. You know, you know, outside the lines. Maybe in a car accident or something. I know, just reading between the lines and certain accounts online, uh, that people close to Michael are not happy that people are wondering what happened to him. I know a lot of fans are con not concerned, but just, just curious about what happened to him. And uh, I'm not going to say who it was, but it seems like there's something, something's going on. I don't know what, but there there is an injury in some way. I don't know. I know it sounds kind of confusing, but it seems confusing to me. Uh, but just so I don't want to mention that. So thank you for watching this video. Like I said, there's always videos coming up. i to keep an eye on regular videos. It's not just about the everyday games and stuff. And that's a playing well. Although Edwin Diaz needs to be watched. Not a big fan of his, as you all know. <laughs> and thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Baseball Hut. Leave comments and likes and you'll help the channel spread the word. The best Mets channel on YouTube. So thank you and I'll see you later.